Hi guys and welcome back to another video now today. What I'm going to bring you is season 4 episode 9 of City Signings. Now just before we get into today's video, if you could drop a like on it, 40 likes would be massively appreciated. Subscribe if you are new. We are now on the road to 4,300 subscribers. We're really, really close to that as well. So if all you people that aren't subscribed, subscribe right now. We'll easily hit 4,300 subscribers, like 5 away. So if you could subscribe, it would be massively appreciated. We're trying to hit, you know, maybe 5,000 before the end of the season. Now I have already recorded this video, but I forgot to turn my mic on, so the audio would have sounded absolutely terrible. So I'm re-recording it, but today we are going to be talking about the fact we have signed Will Huffer from Bradford Park Avenue, a goalkeeper. He's probably going to come in as a backup. Now we will uh, get into the article, all that sort of stuff, and then I'll give you my thoughts on it because I can't, I can't really give too many thoughts on a player who's going to come in, probably just sit on the bench and then leave at the end of the season. So we'll get straight on with the article. So yeah, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. The mic is definitely on this time, but the article reads, City get hands on Huffer. Um, I assume that's meant to be like a goalkeeper reference, but it doesn't sound great to be honest with you. Um, anyway, Bradford City yesterday completed the signing of Will Huffer from Bradford Park Avenue. The 22-year-old has put pen to paper on a deal until the end of the 2020-21 season after the two clubs reach an agreement for the transfer. Now, I believe he was on a pay-as-you-play sort of contract. Now, I actually tweeted out under the tweet of him signing saying, what's the point in paying a fee for a keeper who's probably never going to play and then leave at the end of the season? Now, apparently, because he's in non-league and there's just like, loads of complications in his contract, all this sort of stuff, someone was telling me that. Basically, we don't have to pay a don't have to pay a fee for him and he'll just come in as a free and then he'll leave probably as a free I'd, unless like Hornby like breaks his leg and then Huffer comes in and keeps clean sheets I can't see him getting a new deal but yeah I think he's just come in just to warm the bench which is you know more than it is what it is at the end of the day you know we could have just put the academy key, academy keeper on the bench for the for the rest of the season you know I don't see a problem with that but Anyway, I will continue with the article before I'm giving you any of my further views. Huffer arrives at the Utility Energy Stadium to provide competition in the goalkeeping department after Richard O'Donnell was ruled out for up to three months with a torn, torn thigh. The former Leeds United stopper served the spell on loan at Barnet in 2019 before signing for the Bantam's City Neighbours in November. So he's only been there for three months. Huffer said, I'm really happy to be here. It happened very quickly, but the lads have been great with me so far and I've been impressed by the self. I mean, if you're coming from Rafa Park Avenue, Coming all the way up to Bradford City. I know that's only two leagues higher, but I'm sure our setup is a lot better than what theirs is. He continued to say, Huffer, Huffer, hopefully I can get a few games under my belt here and do well for the club to help us progress. Is he going to get a few games under his belt? Let me know down in the comments below. Do you think he's going to play? I want to help us put a good run together, continue to pick up points and have a strong finish to the season. City interim manager Mark Truman said, We are pleased to be able to bring Will to the club and add depth and competition to our goalkeeping department. He's a talented young goalkeeper who is rated very highly at Leeds United and we are looking forward to seeing what he can do here. Hopefully we'll wear number 20 in Claret and Amber, etc, etc. He's available to sponsor. Now, I think, as I said earlier, it's just a signing that we kind of needed to do, but did we really need to do that? We, in my opinion, we could have just put the academy goalkeeper on the bench for the rest of the season because we definitely needed to have a keeper. You know, we couldn't have gone in for the rest of the season without having a backup keeper because if that would have happened, then what would have happened against Port Vale would have probably happened for the rest of the season where their striker just seemed to target Sam Hornby. Now, every time like the ball were like a 50-50, I'm probably like a 60-40 in Hornby's favour. The Port Vale striker, I don't know if it would just him or the tactics or what it was but he just seemed to try to keep going through Hornby and trying to injure him which I guess if you think right tactically yeah it's good if you injure the keeper and then we have to put I don't know Lee Novak in goal I mean he's played centre back against Forest Green I'm sure he could have probably done a stint in goal as well but I, d I don't really think you know if you're a proper sportsman you don't really want to be doing stuff like that let's be honest with you but you know it's a signing you know he'll come in warm the bench for a bit and then probably leave um at the end of the season whenever that may be because obviously we're in lockdown now like a proper lockdown but football is allowed to continue but they've got to do tests twice a week but yeah it's another signing it's some more content for you guys you know i get to make a video about it apologies as well about the quality on the well the video anyway my camera still won't open so i'm still having to record on my phone and basically for some reason when i upload it onto YouTube and then download it from my computer. He likes to really mess with the quality really badly. Like if I'm looking at on here right now, I can tell that it's 4K, but then when I eventually get it on my computer, it just doesn't look that great, which is really, really disappointing. And I don't know if there's another way around it. If anyone knows, make sure to let me know down in the comments below. As well as make sure to let me know down in the comments below your thoughts on the signing. Obviously he's 22, you know, uh, Matt Truman said, you know, he's pleased to have him here. He sees a bit of potential in him um, and he's talented. So, you know, if he, if he wants to stay, then, you know, it wouldn't be the end of the world. But having three first team goalkeepers isn't really necessary. 
I don't really think so. I mean, we could keep him then, just keep sending out on loan, but then if you're paying his wages, it just it does seem a bit pointless to be honest with you. It'll be interesting to see what happens when Richard O'Donnell, you know, he's fully uh, fit again. That should be around April sort of time, late March, April sort of time. But I think it was Connor Sellers has already said that, you know, that um, O'Donnell will have to earn his place in the number one spot. Obviously, if Sam Orn becomes in and then for the next, I don't even know how many games, let's say a minimum 12 to 15 games, and has absolute stinkers and just plays awful, then it'll be pretty obvious that Richard O'Donnell will come back in to the first team and Hornby will be probably put back on the bench or maybe loaned out again, like what happened last year. You know, because I think you can loan out to um, non league clubs whenever, I believe. Don't quote me on that. But yeah, that's just my thoughts on the signing. Make sure to let me know your thoughts on the signing down in the comments below. The microphone is on this time as well. So that's always lovely, lovely stuff. But yeah, guys, that is where I am. I'm going to leave today's video. If you have enjoyed, a like would be massively appreciated. 40 likes, as I said, at the start of the video would be absolutely class. Once again, apologies about the, the video quality. There's nothing really much I can do. Subscribe if you are new as well. Thank you so much for the support recently. Make sure to come follow me on Twitch. Link is down in the description below. I'm streaming at least 25 hours a week, which is like three or four hours a day at the moment. So make sure you go over onto Twitch. Make sure to drop me a follow. Come tune into the live streams. You know, we're on the road to 1K followers. We are currently on 622 at the time of recording. So make sure you come over there, drop me a follow because streaming, I mean, it's, it's just class, isn't it? I absolutely love streaming at the moment. And I'll see you all guys, though in the next video which will be tomorrow it'll be the Jordan Stevens signing my reaction to that which there will be uh, I'll have a lot more to talk about in that because he's probably actually going to play I'll see y'all uh, in a bit